So let's dive into it. Uh, products and variants. It's um, a big topic to start with. Um, obviously, Shopify is all about e-commerce. E-commerce is all about selling products. Um, and so the product uh, model, the product data model uh, that underlies Shopify is obviously quite important to the, uh, to the, to the company and to the platform. But they are rebuilding a, uh, yeah, a big part of it, actually. So this is, again, foundations, right? They are trying to rebuild the foundations. Um, and so, yeah, these there are big changes coming to the products and the variants uh, side of things. So some of you might have been impacted by this before, um, but before we actually only had the option to have 100 variants um, for a product, and you could only select three options. So this was a big limitation for a lot of merchants um, that couldn't add more than 100 variants. And there were obviously a lot of different ways to try and circumnavigate that issue. But Shopify now yeah, just said, we're going to rebuild it from scratch. Our product data model is old. Let's throw it out and let's start again. And so the new numbers are quite amazing if you compare them to the yeah, 100 variant limits that we had before, because now we're going to have the option to have 2,000 variants per product. Um, it's obviously a foundational upgrade. Um, and it also points towards the fact that Shopify wants to be able to power more complex catalogs which is obviously what we want Shopify to move towards. So this is a big one. It can be understating, uh, understated how important this is and also how hard this must be for Shopify to do this uh, with so many merchants on their platform to switch their uh, yeah, most foundational product data model, basically. Um, another huge one is the combined listing app. This has also to do with products and variants. Um, you might have seen this. This is only on Shopify Plus, but it's quite amazing what it can do. Um, because yeah, it will probably change a lot um, and it will be a, a small aha moment, I think, for a lot of people um, that this is something that um, uh, is changing. I now see, hopefully you guys see it as well. Yeah, because I don't see it on my screen, um, but this is more or less what it is. Um, it's different products that are actually joined together as variants. Um, so it is a product in the back end of Shopify so it's not a variant of a product, but you can actually select different products so that they become part of a structure um, that is actually not a product, right? But it's like a combination of products. And this is obviously a big change. Why? Because mostly, or the first thing that comes to mind, obviously, is if you have different products that you join together and you don't use the variant um, yeah, way of, of, of adding products, or variants, um, then you have actually URLs per product. So all of the different products that you join together into one um, product model, they all have their separate URLs. This means that they all have their separate SEO authority, um, which could be interesting because imagine that you have, I'm going to give an example, different colors and that people really search for a blue t-shirt, for example, a blue cashmere or cotton t-shirt, then you actually want to make sure that you can add those um, keywords, blue cotton t-shirt, um, in the um, yeah, SEO description um, and that that specific product comes up in um, in Google, because you know that they're actually already looking for a blue t-shirt, right? Normally, this was not possible before um, because you could only add your SEO description to the mother product, but this was not the blue t-shirt because it was the variant that had the blue um, uh, property. So this is a big change. It's also yeah very easy to just select all of the different products, join them into one big product, um, and you have all of the aspects right there. So URLs per um, product, which impacts the SEO, uh, obviously. But also, and I don't know if, if a lot of people will uh, understand this, I, I do think that will be the case. But before you actually had a product and then variants underneath it, you added a lot of images on the product itself, on the product itself. And then you could only select one image for the variants that you added to that product. But this meant that you actually only had one product image per variant. Now, because you actually drag it to a level um, yeah, up, um, you actually have a whole carousel of images um, that you can add to your product and thus also to your variant um, because yeah we use products in this case as a variant uh, so you have a whole um, yeah carousel of images specifically tailored to that specific variant 
Also super important to mention is that in the front end, this is all for the, for the customers. This is all very, um, yeah, very straightforward. So you just have all the URLs and actually um, the, the, the front end makes sure that all of the products are shown together with swatches, with different um, uh, sizes, et cetera. Um, so it it is, or it looks like it's implemented as a variant, but actually it's different products in the back end. Um, but all set up very um, yeah, easily, so to say. Huge one, 